Hello, hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to be taking a look at how easily we can upgrade and install Android KitKat version 4.4.2. Now Samsung started to roll this out from about the beginning of March 2014, but if like me, you've rooted and flashed a custom firmware on your device, then you will not automatically get this update. So we're gonna go through a procedure on how to do this, but just bear in mind that neither myself, Samsung or Google take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process. So do proceed at your own risk. And with that in mind, I would suggest that you do a complete backup of all your data as this will wipe it completely clean. There are a few prerequisites for this so check out the two download links down in the description the first one is to odin and the second one is to the firmware file itself once you've got those head over into your settings section and go down to developer options and make sure there's a tick next to usb debugging hit ok to the prompt and you're done here now you can turn off your handset and once that's off we're going to go into download mode by pressing volume down power and the home button simultaneously until we get to download mode so that's now off so here we go all three buttons simultaneously keep those pressed down until we get into download mode here we go it gives us a warning saying a custom os can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications if you want to download a custom os press the volume up key which is what we want to do so we'll press volume up and now we'll plug it into a computer. You can see in the top right hand corner of the screen here, I've got two files. The first one is Odin and the second one is the zipped firmware file itself. The first thing that we need to do is to unzip this. So I'm gonna unzip it straight to my desktop here, which shouldn't take too long. That's finished extracting. So I'll just bring it into shot here so you can see it and clicking into it. You can see that's the .tar.md5 file that we're gonna be using to flash our handset. Next up, load up Odin and we'll hit run to this security window and move this up here so it looks a little bit cleaner. You can see this COM port is lit up in yellow. Now, depending on what version of Odin you're running, it may be yellow or it may be blue, but either way it needs to be lit up just to confirm that the phone is talking to the computer and vice versa. Obviously, if it's not lit up, then that means there's a communication problem, so it may be worth trying a different USB lead, maybe a different USB port on your computer, maybe one at the back of the computer. But once that's lit up, then you're ready to proceed further. In this section here, I would take the tick out of where it says auto reboot because we don't want it to automatically reboot. And I'll explain that a little bit later on. And what we need to do is put a tick next to PDA, then click on PDA and locate the file that we extracted on our desktops. There we go, that's the .tar.md5 file. We're gonna hit open. Now, just before we hit start, I just wanna, again, reiterate, make sure you've got a backup of all the data on your handset because this will completely wipe it as well as removing any root access as well. So we're ready to rock, so we'll hit start. And this should take a good couple of minutes or so, so just be patient and let it do its thing. You can see Odin's now finished because it has a green pass, so we can exit out of Odin. Returning back to the handset and we can unplug it from the computer because that's no longer required. Now normally this is where it starts to automatically reboot but some of you have been having issues with error messages saying certain files are missing or applications are missing so I'm just going to show you what to do if that occurs. It may not happen to everyone but certainly it happens to some people so I'm just going to show you. So first of all we're going to remove the back and then remove the battery like so once that's off put the battery back in again and we're going to go into recovery mode so that's volume up power and the home button simultaneously keeping those pressed down until you get the recovery in the top left in blue there you go let go of the power button while still having the volume up and the home buttons pressed down still keep those pressed down until we actually get to the recovery console so I've still got those pressed down. I haven't got the power button pressed down, but volume up and the home button simultaneously still. So we'll just leave it be. And bingo, just doing its thing. We'll just wait. And it's just vibrating again, just to symbolize it's doing a reboot. We've still got volume up and the home button still pressed. And here we go. It's gone into the recovery console. We're gonna go down to where it says wipe data factory reset and use the power button to make the selection. Volume up and down to go obviously up and down and then power button to confirm yes, delete all user data. And then it'll say formatting data at the bottom. Shouldn't take too long at all. Maybe 10, 15 seconds if that. And it says data wipe complete. Now along the top, we're gonna to go down again to wipe K 
cache partition this time hit the power button and it says formatting cache cache wipe complete now we're done we're going to do reboot system now so hit the power button there and then again this is the first proper time it's going to be booting up so it might take a couple of minutes again just be patient and let us do its thing there we go that took a definitely a couple of minutes to go through so we're just going to hit next and Wi-Fi yes I might as well connect up to it to be fair uh, end user license agreement yeah I might as well hit next sign into Samsung account now nah, we'll skip that yes to Google account signing in here shouldn't take too long at all I'm already connected up to the Wi-Fi and boom here we go we'll untick back up and restore and location services and I don't want to be kept up to date and yes that's my name Dropbox I've already got it so we'll skip that I already know about the features hit finish there we go that's loaded up here and it looks exactly like a jelly bean but there are some fundamental changes that have been made to this so if we go into settings go across to more and then about device you can see the Android version 4.4.2 KitKat on the Samsung Galaxy S4. So that's how easily you can upgrade and install KitKat 4.4.2 on your S4. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video in a lot way. So and if you found it informative, please do give us a like. As ever, if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.